Hey everybody, Justin Sooner here. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to stop losing sales on Shopify with the Pre-Order Now app. It's very powerful. We're going to jump right into it. And this is all about stopping losing sales to out-of-stock products. And this is how to do it the right way. All stores are going to face inventory and out-of-stock issues. You may have faced them yourself at some point during your career running your store. And if you haven't, I'm sure you will at some point. And the whole idea here is when a, a customer, especially from an ad, visits an out-of-stock product page, you're obviously going to lose out on sales. So a popular strategy, a winning strategy for big Shopify stores is to enable pre-ordering and back-in-stock alerts so you never lose out on sales. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. There are some pain points that you might run into when you want to implement this strategy. First of all, there's no built-in way to do this in Shopify. If you're going to need to use an app, I'm going to show you the exact one that I use. And the app must be super easy to use and require no prior technological skills. You don't need to be a coder or a developer or some kind of expert in order to implement this strategy in your store. And most importantly, the app must allow for pre-ordering and back-in-stock alerts. So the idea here is that we could hopefully close the sale. If not, we'll be able to get them alerted whenever the product is back so they can come back and finish. And in order to do that, you're going to use the Pre-Order Now app. And you see the link directly below this video. We're going to go over the shoulder and I'm going to show you exactly why I use and recommend this app. Very easy to use, very powerful. Again, you see the link directly below this video. And we're going to jump into it over the shoulder. This is the Pre-Order Now app page, and the first thing I want you to pay attention to, a massive 4.5 out of 5 stars for the reviews on over 1,200 reviews here. So this is really the best app when it comes to doing pre-ordering, and it's really all about boosting your sales, replacing out-of-stock buttons with pre-order buttons, and you'll see this all in action. And again, you see the link directly below this video. We're going to be able to have these really stylish pre-order badges with buttons on the product page you see over here. Pre-order, it automatically replaces the order now button for out of stock products and it's really cool really easy to do lots of different options in terms of partial payments and you'll be able to manage everything inside here very quickly in your orders page just like you would any other order by looking at the pre-order tag and it's really very very simple very intuitive to use it's going to automatically enable pre-ordering based on the inventory that you have and there's different rules here talking about if you have basically above or zero inventory that's when it will kind of automatically trigger here. You can send emails here in terms of customizing everything, of course, in terms of how it looks and the formatting and the text. But sending separate emails to pre-order customers to really kind of stay on top of making sure we get that sale and engaging with that customer. You could do all of this as well, managing all of your pre-orders through your mobile devices so customers are able to actually see what they have. And really cool to do this integrating with TikTok as well. Badges over here, of course, to easily enable or easily kind of make clear what products are pre-orderable and very, very easy to go. It's really just about having our uh, lost opportunity, right? We don't want to have out-of-stock products lead to a loss of sales. Pre-order now is going to do exactly that. So all we need to do is press the install button. We're going to go ahead and install this inside of our Shopify store. And this will allow us to get everything set up. It's very easy. We're just going to come over here and click install now we are on the pre-order now dashboard page inside of our store very easy to get here we just installed the app we get a 14 day free trial over here we want to come over and activate our plan in terms of picking which one we want but i'm going to show you exactly how to get set up over here first thing that we need to do is enable the pre-order now inside of our theme very simple to do this we're just going to click configure this is actually going to load up our theme editor, our typical online theme store editor here, where we now have the app embed section over here. We just want to simply turn this on. You see that they turned it on for us, so you toggle it on or off. Once you toggle it on, you press save. We're not going to see anything in terms of popping up on our store yet. This is just to enable things to get it going. So now that we come back over here, I could actually reload this, and you're going to see that this section will be fulfilled here. Right? We did, uh, or we activated it. So we've installed it and enabled it on our theme. What we want to do is basically set up or enable pre-orders for a product. So what we're going to be able to do and come through over here is take a look at all of the different options over here in terms of how we're going to have our pre-ordering. So we'll come over here. We could do it on something like all product. 
So what we want to do now is, <clears throat> let's say we're going to have an entire uh, setup of pre-ordered products. We're going to come over and have a launch date. So let's say we're going to launch on the 11th, right? We could even set a specific time over here. If we have an update, if, or if we click update, we'd actually be notifying all of the customers who have opted to pre-order this product or to be alerted about this product of when it's going to come out. We're not going to do that right now because this is a live store, but that's an easy function for you. And here we can go over here and just literally go and you see this is for all products. This would be like a pre-launch store. We're going to enable pre-ordering for all products. Okay, I'm not going to do that in this case, but if you wanted to do that, of course you can. You press save. What we want to do is come over to single products now, and this is going to be able to allow us on an individual basis to set up products. So we could search for products in our store. I'll go ahead and just search for some different products over here. And you're going to see the uh, status. All of them are disabled. Obviously, I've just set up this app. I haven't set any of these products to be anything like that. So let's say we want to set something to be a product that is uh, you know, available for pre-order. We can come down over here. I'm going to do the Shirt of the Month Club, for example. And we'll go over ahead and click inside here. And you see that this is the same kind of idea where we have a launch date in terms of when we're going to be able to do that. And if we had any people who had previously pre-ordered, they'd, of course, get that notification. But what we're going to do over here is just simply enable pre-ordering for this variant. If you had multiple variants, let's say something like um, small, medium, large, extra large, for example, you'd be able to select individually which ones you'd want. But we only have one variant over here. We're going to click this. We're always going to go with use default setting. If you go to custom setting over here, we could just basically change what's on here in terms of some of the look and feel. We could change the, the text. The default is pre-order now. We could change that, change the messaging, change inventory management, all that different stuff, all the different period, but really just easy. This app is super easy to use. We're going to click default settings. And uh, we'll come over here. I'll actually come over and uh, show you this product first before we set anything up. And you see it's got our uh, little product option over here and our add to cart. We're going to come now and simply press save setting over here. So now that we save this, and this is how easy this app is, we've now enabled this product to work with pre-ordering. Okay, and we can come over here and ask for a review and all that great stuff. So we have this pre-order enabled product, okay? Now if we come over into this page, I will reload this button, and you'll see that the button has automatically changed to pre-order now. It's that simple. Things will still continue just like any other product, adding the product to cart, etc. any fulfillments or anything like that would all still work the same way. But you see that in just a matter of seconds, we come over here into our single products and we're able to simply go ahead and find the product that we want, turn on pre-ordering, saving, it's that simple. Here you see the settings page. Pretty much everything is straightforward over here. You can go over and of course change things like button text and pre-ordering message and different types of badges. You can set your own uh, customized branded badges if you want to do a little bit of uh, kind of graphic design or have a designer do that. Really kind of everything again straightforward over here. Here's our emails. We can go ahead and you see the pricing over here very easy. Only one cent per email. Change who it's from. You can send a test email and of course over here you can change the actual content of the email to make sure it's all perfect. You have your styles, you have your advanced settings as well in terms of uh, translating or changing any text, and you could totally uninstall the uh, app over here if you needed to over here. Be able to actually look at your pre-orders inside this section. It's just going to go into your order section over here looking for anything tagged with pre-order. That's going to happen automatically. Really cool uh, support over here as well. If you want to get started, they have all of their information in their Zendesk, so you can get started very quickly. Also, really highly recommend checking this out, especially if you are a print-on-demand store selling 1,000 units in, 12, uh, in 10 hours on the pre-sale here. This is a print-on-demand store for women's sports, and you could read through this um, case study. Really interesting and very applicable for most of my students here. Again, this is print-on-demand, talking about how they got 1,000 pre-orders within 10 hours. Really cool brand called Together. So make sure you check that out. This is on their website as well. But highly recommended. You see the link directly below this video for pre-order now. Make sure you get this into your store ASAP. It's really going to help you boost your sales and stop losing out on any of those out-of-stock lost sale opportunities. So again, link below this video, highly recommended. I hope this helps you out, and I'll talk to you real soon.